God does not tolerate, pay attention, he does not tolerate mm. mediocre spiritual life. My God, come on. Mediocre. He doesn't, mm. he hasn't, and he will no longer mm. tolerate come on. mediocre spiritual come on, life. Come on. This was conviction for me. God said, listen, son, I, I need you to get back on post. Come on. I, I need you, listen, to position yourself mm -hmm. to tread out, yes. to eat and tread. Yes. Whew, because people are in need of what you have. Yes. In other words, God does not tolerate an average, moderate, or low quality spiritual life. Wow. We've succumbed to yes. that. I got Jesus and I'm all right. Come on. I'm saved and I'm all right. Well, I stopped cussing. God says, no, mediocre. Come on. There's another step. There's another level in me. I know you stopped doing some things, but there's some more things to stop. There's some more yes. things to start. You have value. Thank you, Lord. Whew, did you hear that? Thank you, spiritually. God says, you got value spiritually. I know we talk about value in the earth, on our jobs, here and there, but you got spiritual value. And God says, I want to do something with it. Ability, spiritually. Thank you, Lord. Thank God knows what you're capable of doing in the natural. But there's some things you haven't yet tapped into Come on. spiritually. Come on. Me? Yes, you. God says, yes, you. Listen, I saved you with a purpose. Come on. Come on. Not just to keep you from hell. Come on. What enemy do you know who's in an army and who's not prepared to fight? Who doesn't have a level of spiritual maturity? Who does not have a level of endurance? Enduring power, strength to keep fighting. I know you've been serving God for some long, for some, for some time now. And see why everybody's walked away. Everybody's not a part of this army. Everybody's not going where you're going. Amen. And so there should be something distinct about you. But 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 see my, my friends just don't want to deal with me. Could it be you've been anointed? To be anointed means you've been separated unto God. We want to be anointed, but we don't want to be separated unto God. We want to be anointed and still deal with folk. God says, no, there's something different about you. I've got to preserve you for such a time as this. I'm per perfuming you as I separate you. So when you run to the water, God says, listen, that's our time. That's when I'm going to do some works in you. That's when I'm going to put on you what you need. When I'm going to stir up the gift on the inside of you for change. We want to be change, change makers, change breakers, and all that. But we listen. We fail. We fail to step into the water. Come on. Imagine if the children of Israel ran to the water and stayed there and said, "You know what? I don't know." They would have been devoured. And that's what we're doing. We're getting to God's word. We're looking at the dust that's collecting on it. Come on now. And God says, "You better step in the water and trust me. Trust me." Walk on it and trust me. Yes, Hold tight to what you have. Yeah. Woo. Yes, God. What you have, listen, I need you to take with you. Yes. What you have, God says, I'm going to multiply. Yes. But you got to step in the water. Yes, God. You got to step in the water. Hallelujah. D don't worry about what looks treacherous. Come on. Don't, look about, don't worry about what may be lurking or, or what, what you don't quite understand. Yes. That's why the Holy Spirit says, I'll teach you all things. Oh. When you get in the water, he's like the lifeguard. He says, son, you're not going to drown. Daughter, you're not going to drown. I'm going to carry you to the other end of this. Whatever your this is, whatever your season is, I'm going to carry you to the other side. But you got to get in. Victory is waiting for you. New birth is waiting for you. Destiny is on the other side of where you are. You say, but, but I've been fine until now because he, he stopped by this morning to remind you. You've been under grace. Yes, God. And, and somebody, you've been un under much mercy. Yes. And that's a good place to be. Thank you, Lord. But it's not the best place to be. I want to be in the shadow. Yes, under the shadow of the Almighty. Yes, God. He is my help. He is my fortress. He is my strength. Yes, but you got to step in the water. Thank you, Lord. You have value. Yes. Thank you, Master. Spiritually. Yes, God. You have ability spiritually. To conduct spiritually. Did you hear what I said? To conduct spiritually. Yes, God. Oh, you missed it. We've been conducting all kinds of ways. And God said, listen, I need you to conduct spiritually. Crucify that old you that keeps trying to wake up, say, die. Not go to sleep, but die and live on the inside of me. Who Spirit of God, live on the inside of me outwardly. Yes, God. Yes, God. 
The Father wants all Christians operating in love. Did yeah, you hear that? All Christians. Oh, if you're not operating in love, you're not. A, I can't say that you're a Christian. I can't say you're Christ-like. He says operate in love. What is love? It suffers. It's kind. It's patient. It's patient. That's what love is. But we get tired of folks. We get annoyed with folks. We get irritated with folks. God, God, God says love covers a multitude of sins. You want God to wash your slate? You better start walking in love. And service unto him. I know we've been serving, but let's get the first part right. Love. Yes. 